rapamycin was approved almost 20 years ago, initially for um, treating renal cell transplant patients for, for rejection. Um, since that time, and, and sort of reflecting the effectiveness in rapamycin in so many of these phenotypes of aging, as well as the chronic diseases of aging that literally determine longevity and determine lifespan, rapamycin has subsequently been approved by the FDA in various formulations ranging all the way from uh, skin cream for something called angiofibromas to uh, coating coronary artery stents for atherosclerosis to uh, several types of cancer for treatment. So um, you're correct, rapamycin has not been approved by the FDA uh, with the indication of of longevity or aging. Uh, but instead, it, it has been approved for several, several many diseases, and it has been in use for over 20 years. But as you say, um, rapamycin is available for an off-label use. That is when the drug is taken for something other than which it's approved for, um, and s some individuals are taking it for longevity.